on a pleasant good Wednesday morning. It's the 8th day of June. More June gloom. Well, it was in the 70s this week. And the weather this month of June so far has been pretty pleasant. Yes, enjoy it today because tomorrow it's supposed to heat up. And Friday's supposed to be the warmest day of the week. With temperatures in the 80s downtown, 90s in the valleys, triple digits across the desert areas and approaching 100 Inland Empire. And, um, but next weekend it's supposed to cool down a little bit. And noticeably cooler early next week is, yeah, June gloom is for real. And usually the rain is long gone by now. Yeah, we didn't get any rain in May. We barely got any rain in April. I mean, we had that March miracle though, but still not enough. But yes, this is hurricane season, meteorological summer. It's, it's not officially summer yet, but it's, feels like it because of the long daylight hours. And we're just like two weeks away from the summer solstice. And uh, yes, happy birthdays going out to Kanye West, Dave Malicki, Boss Gags, Don Robinson. Also a happy heavenly birthday to former first lady Barbara Bush. Also a happy heavenly birthday to Rob Pilatus of Millie Vanilli. And, uh, and a happy belated birthday to broadcaster Brian Anderson. And a happy heavenly birthday of ecstasy from Houdini as well. But yes, uh, tonight it's game three of the NBA Finals as the series shifts to the TD Garden in Boston. And teams that are tied 1-1, the game three winner wins about 82% of the time. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see if, uh, we'll see what happens. Boston is like a three point favorite in this one though. And Boston has never lost back-to-back -back games this postseason. Yeah, Boston's only five and four at home, entering the finals, but Golden State is only three and four on the road. So Boston will have a slight edge, it looks like. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just down to two teams. And unfortunately, the Dodgers got shut out by the Chicago White Sox 4 nothing last night. As, um, well, Mitch White pitched really well, though. He pitched four perfect innings, but got out of, out of a bases loaded jam in the fifth. But former White's, former Dodgers outfielder AJ Pollock had a two run double. Craig Kimbrell is unable to participate because he's on the patern paternity leave because he's, his wife is ex expecting a baby boy any day now. And we might see Joe Kelly on his birthday tomorrow too. Yeah. So yeah, David Price just, David Price is not that good anymore. I mean, he's in his late thirties now. He's in the twilight of his career. He allows first pitches to the opposing batters and they just make contact on the first pitch and they, they, they see the strike zone and they swing at it. Yeah, it's just like when Reggie Jackson swung at the first pitch in the 77 World Series. I mean, you just never know what you do when you swing on the first pitch. And the Angels' misery continues as they lose 13 in a row. Yeah, unlucky 13 as they lose to the Red Sox 6-5. to five. And Joe Mannon, of course, got fired yesterday. And Phil Nevin, the former Padres third baseman and slugger, is now the interim manager of the Angels. So, yeah, the Angels have really... Things look promising in the beginning, but now that we're in like almost toward the middle of the season, the Angels have fallen off the pace. And with Houston, they just keep winning and cheating. They're likely gonna reach the playoffs again this year and win their division. But they always fade in the playoffs. Yeah. Well, the Giants lost, the, the, the Padres won. But, they're, but the Mets are going to be without Pete Alonso and Starling Marte for a while. And Mike Trout just injured his groin as well. So 
That's more bad news for the Angels. Shohei Otani's not really producing. Um, yeah, Shohei and Anthony Rendon's injured, and they don't have any pitching. And yeah, things have gone bad to worse. Well, well, the good news is that the Catman is pitching today for the Dodgers, so he'll turn it around and. Meanwhile, the Tampa Bay Lightning, even their Eastern Conference Finals at 2-2. And that's pretty much it. Well, have a good rest of your Wednesday. Let's hope the Dodgers bounce back, and we'll see if the Angels can end their 13-game losing streak. And let's hope the Rockies beat the Giants. Let's hope the Mets beat the Padres. And um, let's hope the Warriors beat the Celtics. Amen.